Creatin, one of the most controversial supplements and compounds. Is it beneficial or dangerous for your health? At the end of this video, you will know what creatin is, what it does in your body, what 11 health benefits it has, what the best practices regarding dosage are, and if it is safe for long-term use. We answer all the questions, tidy up myths, and back it up by recent studies and science around creatine. Let's get started. At first, we gotta ask ourselves, what exactly is creatine? Creatin is a naturally occurring compound found in the body's muscles. It's synthesized from amino acids, primarily in the liver and kidneys. In fact, 95% of all creatine is stored in your muscles, mainly as phosphocreatin, with the remaining 5% distributed in organs like the brain and tests. Supplementation of creatine increases phosphocreatin, a stored energy form, aiding ATP production. ATP serves as the body's energy currency, enhancing exercise performance. How does it work and what does it do? Creatine acts as premium fuel for your body, enhancing energy production during intense activities. When you engage in activities requiring quick bursts of power, like sprinting or lifting heavy weights, your muscles demand a rapid energy source. This is where creatine steps in. It replenishes ATP, the body's energy currency, akin to stocking up on energy packets for muscles. This boost in energy allows for increased power and endurance during workouts, like having a reserve tank of fuel for your muscles. Additionally, creatine promotes muscle water retention, increasing cell volume for a fuller, more pumped appearance. This water retention is like filling up your gas tank, ensuring you have ample reserves to power through your workouts with vigor. In essence, it turbocharges your performance, enabling you to push harder, lift heavier, and achieve fitness goals more efficiently. What are the benefits of creatine? Besides being essential for your body's energy optimization, creatine has some surprising benefits. Dr. Andrew Huberman even says that creatine offers long-term benefits when used consistently. Let's check them all out. Benefit number one, increased muscle strength and power. Creatine supplementation has been consistently shown to enhance muscle strength, endurance, explosiveness, and power output, especially in younger people. By increasing phosphocreatine levels in muscle cells, Creatin facilitates the rapid regeneration of ATP during high-intensity exercise, leading to greater force production and improved performance in activities like weightlifting and sprinting. Number 2. Enhanced Muscle Mass and Size One of the most well-known benefits of creatin is its ability to promote muscle hypertrophy or muscle growth. By supporting more intense and prolonged resistance training sessions, creatin supplementation stimulates protein synthesis and muscle cell volumization resulting in increased muscle mass over time. It contributes to improved cell signaling, aiding muscle repair and growth, heightened anabolic hormone levels like IGF-1, increased cell hydration, reduced protein breakdown, and lowered myostatin levels, a specific protein that can hinder muscle growth potential. Even more interesting, a 2019 meta-analysis found that creatine supplementation may not only help maintain muscle mass, but also promote fat loss. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button down there to support the channel. On to the next benefit. Number three, increased muscle recovery. A recent 2023 review even showed that creatine monohydrate reduced the level of exercise-induced muscle damage. By replenishing ATP stores and reducing muscle damage, creatine helps expedite the repair and regeneration process, allowing you to recover more quickly between workouts and potentially train at higher frequencies. Another study even showed promising results in therapy of muscular atrophy, while others have shown evidence that creatine supplementation prior to and following injury may reduce atrophy and or enhance rehabilitative outcomes. Number four, increased brain health. Similar to your muscles, the brain stores phosphocreatine and relies on abundant ATP for optimal function. Emerging research indicates that creatine supplementation may offer cognitive benefits beyond its effects on physical performance. Studies suggest that creatine may support cognitive function, including memory and executive function, possibly by enhancing brain energy metabolism and neuroprotection. Moreover, preclinical research indicates that creatine supplementation may aid in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, certain brain injuries, and even epilepsy. One particular study even highlighted creatine's as potential to reduce stroke-related damage. Number five, it may lower blood sugar levels. Creatine supplementation has been associated with improvements in glucose metabolism, potentially leading to lower blood sugar levels. Research suggests that creatine may enhance insulin sensitivity, allowing cells to better respond to insulin and uptake glucose from the bloodstream more effectively. 
This can be particularly beneficial for individuals with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, helping to regulate blood sugar levels and improve overall metabolic health. Number 6. Treatment of Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease Studies have shown that creatine supplementation may have therapeutic effects in individuals with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Creatine has been found to reduce liver fat accumulation and inflammation, potentially improving liver function and reducing the risk of progression to more severe liver conditions. Additionally, creatine's antioxidant properties may help protect liver cells from damage caused by oxidative stress, further supporting its role in NAFLD management. Benefit number seven, support for heart health. Creatine supplementation has also been linked to several benefits for heart health. It may help improve cardiovascular function by enhancing energy production in cardiac muscle cells, leading to improved heart performance and efficiency. Additionally, creatine's ability to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation may contribute to overall heart health by protecting against damage to heart tissue and blood vessels. These effects may help reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases such as heart failure, arrhythmias, coronary artery disease, and hypertension. Number eight, creatine offers immune support. A number of test tube and animal studies highlight creatine's ability to modulate immune responses. Research indicates that creatine supplementation may impact the production and expression of molecules involved in recognizing infections. It appears to reduce pro-inflammatory cytokines and markers of inflammation, potentially explaining its neuroprotective benefits and its ability to attenuate exercise-induced muscle damage. While some studies suggest potential exacerbation of exercise-induced asthma, others show benefits in conditions like cystic fibrosis and COPD. Further research is needed to fully understand creatine's anti-inflammatory and immunomodulatory effects, but evidence suggests its potential in this regard. Number 9. Anti-Cancer Properties There's also emerging evidence that creatine might have anti-cancer properties. Research indicates that cancer cells and immune cells present in tumors often have low levels of creatine, suggesting that creatine might play a role in the development and progression of cancer. Notably, creatine and related compounds exhibit anti-cancer properties, enhancing the efficacy of anti-cancer medications and suppressing tumor growth in animal models. Taking creatine supplements can help immune cells better fight against tumors, potentially making cancer treatments more effective by improving the body's natural defenses against cancer cells. Number 10, it is good for mental health. Research since the 1980s suggests that creatine and related compounds might have antidepressant effects. Animal studies show that diets high in creatine can improve depression-related behavior. In mice, both creatine and exercise have some antidepressant effects, and combining them seems to work even better. Human studies suggest that getting creatine from food or supplements might lower the risk of depression. Some studies even show that taking creatine supplements can help improve depression or bipolar disorder symptoms. While more research is needed, it's becoming clear that creatine could have positive effects on mental health. Number 11. It's good for your bones. Studies show that taking creatine can help reduce bone loss, especially in conditions like muscular dystrophy, where bones weaken faster. When people take creatine and do strength exercises, their bones get stronger. Creatine seems to work by making cells that build bones more active, which helps prevent bone breakdown. It's like giving your bones extra support during exercise. This could be helpful for conditions like osteoporosis, where bones become fragile. However, creatine alone may not do much for bones without exercise. Overall, creatine could be a helpful addition to exercise routines for keeping bones healthy. How should you take and use creatine as a supplement? Creatine comes in different forms like tablets or powder, Choose the one that you prefer. Powder is usually easier to consume. Creatine monohydrate is the most researched and widely used form of creatine, so we advise to choose it over other types, especially since it is the cheapest type by far. Mix your creatine powder with water, juice, or a protein shake for easy consumption. In terms of dosage, you have two options, with or without loading phase. Creatine loading is defined as taking creatine for five to seven days with a dosage of 20 to 25 grams per day divided into smaller doses of 4 to 5 5 gram servings throughout the day. After the loading phase, you switch to a maintenance phase of 3 to 5 grams per day. But you can also skip the loading phase and just start with a daily 3 to 5 grams dose of creatine. While loading quickly boosts muscle creatine levels, lower daily doses also effectively increase creatine stores over time. According to research, you don't need the loading phase, but it may take four weeks to maximize your intramuscular creatine stores, with loading it takes around two. Dr. Peter Atia says, 
Creatine may benefit performance even on non-lifting days, though taking it regularly is key for muscle saturation. Cycling on and off creatine may not be necessary as long as intramuscular levels remain stable. Which foods contain creatine naturally? You might ask yourself, can I not just cover my creatine needs through my diet? While you can add decent amounts of creatine to your system through foods like red meat, poultry, fish and seafood, as well as lower amounts through milk, yogurt, or cheese, relying solely on dietary sources won't fully saturate your body's creatine stores. Even with an omnivorous diet rich in meat, you may only reach 60 to 80% saturation, according to the International Society of Sports Nutrition. To illustrate, consuming around two pounds of beef is needed to match the creatine dose of one small five gram scoop. Without full saturation of creatine stores, you may not experience its full benefits. That poses the question, is creatin safe as a supplement? Creatin stands as one of the most extensively studied supplements, with research spanning up to five years, demonstrating no adverse effects, even on very high doses of 30 grams per day. There's also no evidence indicating that standard creatin doses pose harm to the liver and kidneys in healthy individuals. Studies confirm this. However, individuals with pre-existing liver or kidney conditions should seek medical advice before considering supplementation. Moreover, research also shows that creatine supplementation does not lead to balding or hair loss. In addition, despite many anecdotal claims, it appears that creatine supplementation would have positive influences on muscle cramps and dehydration. Moreover, contrary to common belief, creatine doesn't cause any gastrointestinal issues according to numerous studies. Another misconception confuses creatine with anabolic steroids, but this is inaccurate. Creatine is entirely natural and legally available found in both the body and various foods like meat, and it has no association with steroids. However, creatine supplementation may not be suitable for certain populations, including pregnant or breastfeeding women, children, and individuals with certain medical conditions. Consultation with a healthcare professional is recommended before starting creatine supplementation in these cases, especially if you're on medication. To ensure safety, it's also essential to purchase creatine supplements from reputable brands that adhere to quality and purity standards. Overall, when used responsibly and in accordance with recommended guidelines, even daily creatine supplementation is considered safe for most healthy individuals. It's been used for centuries as a reliable supplement, and as we discovered also has plenty of potential health benefits. Creatine is one of the cheapest, most effective, and safest supplements you can take. Now, go and watch our video about the healthiest protein foods you must eat in order to optimize muscle gains. Thanks for watching, and I see you in the next one.